Hey boys and girls, hi it's Miss Bowman. Um, I have a book for you today. It's called It Look Like Spilt Milk by Charles G. Shaw. And I want to thank Miss Kelly and Miss Wisner and Mr. Martin for the lovely addition to the art room in the form of these awesome books. Sometimes it looked like spilt milk, but it wasn't spilt milk. What do you think that looks like? Sometimes it looked like a rabbit, but it wasn't a rabbit. Mm, you see how it kind of looks like a rabbit there? Sometimes it looked like a bird, but it wasn't a bird. Think of all the things that it could be. Sometimes it looked like a tree, but it wasn't a tree. Sometimes it looked like an ice cream cone, but it wasn't an ice cream cone. Sometimes it looked like a flower, but it wasn't a flower. Sometimes it looked like a pig, but it wasn't a pig. Sometimes it looked like a birthday cake, but it wasn't a birthday cake. Sometimes it looked like a sheep, but it wasn't a sheep. Sometimes it looked like a great horned owl, but it wasn't a great horned owl. Sometimes it looked like a mitten, but it wasn't a mitten. Sometimes it looked like a squirrel, but it wasn't a squirrel. Sometimes it looked like an angel, but it wasn't an angel. Sometimes it looked like spilt milk, but it wasn't spilt milk. It was just a cloud in the sky. The end. See, boys and girls, when you are using your creative brain and you're thinking creatively, lots of things look like lots of different other things. The um, lesson that we had the other day, I asked you to look for faces in things. And that could have been like faces in the wood. If I look really hard, this kind of looks like a mouth of maybe like a fish or something. It could have been looking at an electrical socket and seeing a screaming face or something along those lines. Sometimes we have to look a little farther into things to see what really isn't there, but what could be there. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you play around. I want to show you one more thing. So in the spirit of It Looked Like Spilt Milk by Charles G. Shaw, I want to show you some ways that you can play around with this idea of how you can see different things in water or in paint or even in tea or your soda or something like that. So what we are going to do, I have here, I have here some paint. So I wanna show you one thing you could do. And this would work if you had paint. It would even work if you had like ketchup or something like that too. So you would take a piece of paper, okay? And fold a piece of paper just like this. All right, so you folded a piece of paper. Now you can take your ooey gooey squishy something. Again, it could be ketchup, it could be um, toothpaste. Oh, let's try that with toothpaste actually. Let's try that with some toothpaste. So here I have some toothpaste. I'm going to take and put a squeeze of toothpaste on my paper and put it off to the side. Now what you're going to do is take and fold this paper over and I want you to give it a good rub. Now, 
open it up and what do we see Ooh, what does that look like if we're looking really really hard and I look this way if I turn it this way it kind of looks like frog legs maybe I could even go in there once this dries and I could add a body and I could add a head and I can add some little frog arms And I can give them some little froggy eyes and a silly froggy mouth. And now he looks like he's a frog jumping. So you can look into lots and lots of different things. And you can use lots and lots of different things. You can even do this method with paint. Um, let's see, I'm going to take the same thing. I'm going to fold it over. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to take some of my paint here. And... I am going to put just a little bit, not a lot. And then I'm going to repeat the process, fold it over, give it a good rub, open it up, and what can we make from this? Ooh, what could that be? Hmm, sometimes you have to turn it to the side and look at it this way. Hmm. Sometimes you have to turn it this way. <gasps> I automatically see what it could be. And I am going to take my paintbrush and see if you can guess what I see. Are you seeing what I'm seeing yet? What do you see? I see an elephant. So if you're bored, if you're at home, and you want to play with some creative thinking games, find yourself some old paper. It could be newspaper. It could be paper out of a book. It could be even used paper. Maybe you're going to recycle some paper. And play around with some things. Let me know some of the interesting things you have found and done and post a picture on your class site.